Hey everyone, today I'm going to do an unboxing video of stuff that's in this box. And so as you can see here, uh, there was a shipping label. This is something I ordered from online. Um, and I cut it out except for this little part right here that shows where it came from. DMC, that is Disney Movie Club. They are, you know, they're from Wisconsin here as you can see by their address. Um, so yeah, this is an order that I got from Disney Movie Club. And since it is in a box, it is a... Uh, fairly large order of movies so um, a little bit talking about Disney Movie Club I have talked about Disney Movie Club in other videos but basically uh, what they are is essentially a club you can join online they're kind of a really kind of old business model now uh, in 2017 they've had these kind of things you know back in the 90s where you know you could just order stuff like you'd get get a advertisement in the mail or something and you know you can check the boxes and if you if you order say like uh, seven movies you can get them all for seven cents and then all you have to do is buy I don't know five movies at regular club price which are ridiculously overpriced and then at the end of it you will maybe have saved some money it's kinda hard to say so Disney Movie Club is essentially the same thing where um, you, um, if you want to join, you go to their website and you can pick like, I think it's four Blu-rays or something, four Blu-rays for maybe $4. I'm not exactly sure what their deal is. Um, and then you got to order like three movies at regular club price, which is usually like, you know, $30 or something plus shipping. So a lot more than you would pay in the store, but then consider the fact that you also got four titles for like a dollar a piece or something. So... Um, and then after that, you have to do, I think, one other requirement. I can't remember what it is. Um, but after you've met all the requirements of being in the club, um, if you're someone who collects a lot of Disney movies, you actually can save some money as, you know, compared to um, purchasing the movies by themselves in the stores. It's not like a ton of money you save, but you do save some. Um, and then after that, you can continue being a member on their club, and oftentimes what they have are deals where, like, you can... If you buy one title at regular price, you can buy as many titles in addition in the same order um, for like 50% off and free shipping or 60% off or something like that. So you can you can actually save money if you order a lot of Disney movies and you know you want to collect a lot of Disney movies and you're kind of just starting out. So that can be a good option. Another thing about Disney Movie Club is that they have um, a lot of exclusive titles on their website there. Um, that they don't sell anywhere else, so, you know, and a lot of those you'll see here in this order, I picked up a few of those, um, so just exclusive titles, and so they're kind of good in that regard, but they also are not very good because they're very slow at shipping. I ordered this, and it took, like, over a week to get here. They ship it with the slowest mail service, like Media Mail or whatever, the slowest service possible. And uh, definitely not fast shipping unless you're, you know, willing to pay an arm and a leg more uh, just to get them to your place faster. But here's, here is the box. As you can see, it's a little bit damaged, so they uh, probably didn't pack it all, you know, with a lot of packing material. But uh, we'll see what we got in here. I just thought I'd do an unboxing video of my entire order just because I don't think I've ever made a video like that before, so... Uh, we're going to do that. There's probably going to be some uh, paper receipt here, so I'll probably just edit that out. Uh, but here we'll take a look at what's inside. And as you can see right on top there, I did. there are a few movies on their site that aren't actually Disney movies. So I got Oh Brother Where Art Thou right on the front here. Um, I'm just going to take everything out of the box. I can see that there is a receipt on the bottom, so... All right, so here is a look at a portion of my receipt. Um, obviously, I'm not going to show you guys my uh, address or credit card information or anything like that, but I thought I'd just show you the prices of some of this stuff here that I paid for. So if you look on the top, you can see that I paid full price for uh, one title, $29.95, and then the rest of them were 60% off, I believe. So all of them are $10 or less for titles that, you know, in most cases, you would pay 15 to $20 or more in the stores, so definitely saving a little bit of money, but then if you look at the bottom, shipping and processing was $18.85. They charge you like 
three dollars or something for each title which is definitely not what it costs to ship because like I said uh, they use the slowest mail service it probably only costed them like five dollars to ship this to my address but they charge you eighteen dollars and eighty five cents anyways so honestly I don't save a ton of money um, by buying movies from Disney Movie Club as compared to buying them in the store it's just a little bit um, sometimes it's a little convenient because I can get them all in one box just like I have here and also of course they have the exclusive titles which I will show you alright so now I'll just show you everything that I got in my order here I'm not gonna unbox everything in here I'll probably do separate unboxings for some of these titles actually um, but I got Oh Brother Where Art Thou um, a title that's kind of been on my wish list for a while and uh, so yeah I think this is let's see I don't know who it's released by Universal um, you can see it says one disc here. This it's, it's kind of a similar style of artwork that the Disney movies have, which is probably why it's sold on Disney Movie Club. You can also see uh, Touchstone Home Entertainment there. I believe they're related to Disney in some way. Maybe Disney owns them or something. So um, that kind of explains why this is on their website anyway. Definitely not, you know, uh, animated Disney style of movie or anything. Uh, but happy to have that. And then this next one, I only got, I only had to pay four dollars for this, although that's you know plus the three dollars or whatever for shipping. But um, normally it's about ten dollars in stores, so save a little bit of money. This is Heavyweights. Kind of had my eye on this one for a while. I don't know anything about it really, but it just seems like it might be kind of funny or something. So uh, just decided to try that out. Uh, now this next one here, and actually these next few, are Disney Movie Club exclusives, and I'm going to be honest with you guys, um, I do buy some of these to keep in my collection, but sometimes um, I do buy them with the intention that I might just sell them online and make a little bit of profit on them, because, um, basically because I can. So like if I, so I bought this for like, I don't know, eight, nine, ten bucks, whatever it was I paid for this, plus the shipping. Um, oftentimes these Disney Movie Club exclusive titles you can sell on eBay for $20 to $25, so then I can make a few dollars per title. Um, so The Strongest Man in the World, I'm not sure if I'll keep this or, you know, maybe get rid of it, but, um, I bought it anyways, so there it is. And here is another one called... The Last Flight of Noah's Ark, and again, these are, as you can see right there, Disney Blu-ray exclusive. And basically, when they have this little yellow border around them, they're Disney Movie Club exclusive titles. They're usually older movies that I'm guessing they don't expect would sell very well if they were sold in stores or something. So yeah, definitely older movies, um, that kind of thing. Let's see, yeah. So this next one is Escape to Witch Mountain, 40th Anniversary Edition. And yeah, a lot of these exclusive ones that I got in this order at least, I don't really know anything about. Don't know if I would like them at all, so don't know if I'm going to keep them, but maybe. Um, there have been some good ones that I've purchased, like uh, Swiss Family Robinson and Old Yeller. Some titles that I remember watching from back in the day, so it's really cool that they do offer those there. Um, Next few titles um, actually just got released not too long ago, and I can already see something wrong with this. You can see that the slipcover is a bit damaged here, so this one I most likely will send back. Um, that's pretty annoying, actually, but um, I don't know. What can you do? Um, that's the risk you take by ordering online, but this is Mulan and Mulan 2. It's a two-movie collection, Blu-ray and digital HD. This is kind of the new thing they're doing now. They're reissuing a lot of these ones that have been, you know, released before. Probably has the same exact disc from its original release, but they just don't have like a DVD combo pack thing. It comes with digital HD instead, which actually I think makes a little more sense. Uh, but there's that, and then the, there's the back of it as well. And here's, a, here's another one that kind of goes with this uh, Escape to Witch Mountain. It's Return from Witch Mountain. So another exclusive title from the Disney Movie Club. There it is in the back. And then this one is Return to Oz, 30th Anniversary Edition. Another Disney Movie Club exclusive. And here's the back.
Uh, this next one is Pocahontas and Pocahontas 2. These do have embossed slip covers. Uh, but there it is. And just a little bit of damage on this one. That one's not too bad. Then here's a look at the back. And next up we have the Princess and the Frog. So these uh, three titles here, the Princess and the Frog, Pocahontas, and Mulan, these actually got released on the same day or re-released on the same day. I think it was in late February sometime. So there is a look at that one anyways. And then the last one is Moana, the one I've paid full price for, the 3D Ultimate Collector's Edition. And as you can see, there is some damage to the slipcover, so I don't know what I'm going to do about that. Um, probably just something I'll have to deal with, or possibly just send it back. As you can see, there's some right there, too. So that is rather annoying. That is the risk you take by ordering online. Um, definitely why I generally prefer to buy these titles in the stores, but sometimes I just take the chance like I did here. So, I don't know. But there it is anyways. That's Moana. And then inside... Uh, they also give you a whole bunch of advertisements and things, like here we have a Moana, um, I don't know what you call this, just a little kind of postcard sort of deal. Um, a lithograph is what they call it, so that's included. Um, this is like an order form sort of thing, envelope. They have various advertisements and things. Um, this is just a general advertisement for the club itself, and as you can see, uh, uh, actually this is for referring a friend. You get two free movies, I guess, uh, you know, if you, if you get a friend to join, and then your friend gets five movies for just 99 cents each. And then, of course, there's going to be a commitment to go in addition with this, that um, you would have to buy a certain amount of movies at regular club price, and I don't know how many movies that is but it doesn't matter. It's, you know, probably three or four or something. Um, another advertisement here. And uh, another advertisement there. So anyways, I just thought you, got, uh, you guys might um, be interested in seeing what a typical order from the Disney Movie Club uh, might look like. At least this is uh, kind of a large order, not a typical order, which might only include a movie or two, maybe three. Uh, so this is definitely a larger order. Um, but I thought you guys might, in, you know, be interested in seeing that anyway, just to see what it's like ordering from them. Honestly, if I was going to order in bulk again, I'd probably just order a lot of titles that don't come with slipcovers. As you can see here, all four of the titles that I have that came with slipcovers are kind of damaged, so I might honestly just send those back and just, you know, pick those up in the stores. Um, <clears throat> at least, uh... Maybe not The Princess and the Frog, because that one is actually pretty good, but, you know, um, Pocahontas has a little damage there. That's actually not too bad either, but the other two titles, Moana and Mulan, are definitely, uh, you know, they have some slipcover damage. So, those will probably be sent back, and I'll just pick those ones up in the stores. Um, so, yeah, but anyways, that is the risk you take by buying online, like I've said already. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and we'll see you in the next video.